We are Callum and Roxana, and for almost a year we've been living full time out of our self-converted ambulance. Three months ago we made the decision to leave our full time jobs to hit the road to make the most of what van life has to offer. In this week's episode we begin our North 500 journey, starting off in Inverness at the Clava Cairns before heading north to fully embrace life on the road in a Scottish winter. Oh, we also break down again. Well, I can't tell you what happened because I don't really know what's happening. So we're back from Shetland and we're slowly driving up north to do the North 500 and at the moment we're parked up outside of Inverness to check out a really cool place where the show Outlander was shot. Uh, I've been a big fan of Outlander since I moved to Scotland in 2014 and it's a story about a woman who travels through stones into like 18th century Scotland and she meets this kind of hunky big Scotsman um, so... Sorry. She talking about me? <laughs> Hunky Hunky Scotsman. Scotsman. Oh, that's you, ah. <laughs> <laughs> So um, we're we're gonna check out the standing stones, which are over there. <laughs> the stones that Rox was referring to are known as a clava cairn. But that's how I, I think they pronounce it. This is them here. How cool. So if anyone's wondering what a cairn is, um, for those maybe who are not familiar with Scotland, a cairn is just a different word for a pile of stones, I gather. So you'll find cairns usually at the top of mountains, or apparently here. This is so cool. Amazing, huh? I wonder if it used to like be fully closed. So these stones actually date back to 4,000 years ago and I love how they built a road through it. It's crazy, isn't it? I'm gonna go see if I can find Jamie. Rocks? Rocks? Bugger. Well, Looks like I'm doing the North 500 all by myself. Oh well, I like my own company. <laughs> oh, so you want to come now? I, yeah. No, How was the 18th century? <laughs> Rough. Right, Rock's ready to hit the road. Yeah. Okay, how do we feel about this? I feel great. I got some nice. Okay, okay, this is good. So we found such an amazing spot. We use an app called P Park for the Night. And we tried like another two different spots, but it just seems like we're just try we're just gonna get stuck. We're gonna get stuck here though, but at least it's really nice. There's a forest around. And a blizzard currently. And a blizzard <laughs> coming on. So yeah. Proper gonna... van life uh, winter style. <laughs> yes. So. We have a shovel, we have salt, so. And we have a fire. And we have a fire. Maybe yeah, pop two okay. Okay, let's see. In business, huh? In business. <sighs> Always. It's a bit of a shite hole. Uh, I don't think we can see a shite hole. It's a bit of a hole. It's a bit. <laughs> it's a burak. My uh, cupboard is opened up, huh? opened up. Look, rocks. That's the <laughs> a weather warning in place for where we are right now. Amazing. Looks. Like we're gonna get snowed in? Yeah, and if you look outside, 
which I quite often do because I really like snow. Yep, there's already quite a bit of snow. <laughs> Do you fancy staying here another night? I will though, I'm happy. Here you go, missus. Thank you, Henka. Cheers. How much of a non in wow. Okay. <laughs> this is great. Let's see how you... <laughs> I think you won. Congratulations. Oh, what a gorgeous morning we have here. It's been absolutely stunning and this is probably the most snow I've seen like in a year. We're actually back from a really nice two hour walk. You can see a nice forest behind me and you can climb the hill and there is this really cool old monument built in 1792. So this is, I guess, one of the attractions around here. Uh, but yeah, absolutely stunning. I think we're just gonna hit the road drive more north because we need to be in two days up in Torza. Oh, there is a snowplow coming in. Perfect timing. Do you want to tell us what happened? No. Well, I can't tell you what happened because I don't really know what's happening. Two things have happened. Um, we're driving along and I noticed that the whole van just started just wobbling a wee bit, you know. It wasn't happening all the time but it just had this kind of wobble, right? It just didn't feel right. I had a bad feeling about it so we jumped over. I checked. My first thought was, oh shit, the wheels are going to come off. Potentially, but that was fine. But we've checked the wheels, we've checked everything around the wheels. Um, we then thought it was possibly something to do with the track rod end. But I'm pretty sure it's not that either. It sounds further in the engine or further on that um, kind of line arm. And then just to, you know, put a cherry on top, the door's broken. So the sliding door's broken, the bearing on it is gone, so the door wants to fall off. Yeah, I don't think we're going north. So, we're parked up in Darnoch. 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 We're parked in Darnoch. Perfect, perfect, good. I don't know, it just, it just doesn't make any sense because you know, you spent the last three hours kind of like checking everything and we went to the garage and yeah, I don't know, yeah. Aye, something. Everything seems like it looks fine. Maybe we are over dramatic, maybe it's just nothing. You know, the, the van had MOT like less than a month ago, so if there was something serious, it would come up. We just don't know what it is. Nobody knows what it is. And it's not pro pro provocative. It doesn't get the people going. <laughs> no one knows what it means, but it's provocative. No, it's not. It's it gets well, the people it, going. It's... You know, like, this is what we were talking about, how... Just... You know, I guess this is just, like, part of van life, I guess. And... You know, the van was off the road for such a long time, so we kind of knew things would come up. So, I guess it's just quite good that it's coming up now. We're in Scotland than like abroad so yeah let's just hope it's nothing too serious yeah let's because we have no money so <laughs> i think there was a bar it just feels fine now it's so annoying not annoying but it's just like it's confusing why why is it going to wobble one minute and then it doesn't happen the next i don't know like maybe we, we are 
paranoid. Maybe the van's been driving this way this entire time. Maybe it's something to do with maybe with the road surface. Or Roxana's toilet's too full and it's sloshing about. <laughs> yeah, it could be my toilet. Maybe that's what's causing the wibble. So we have a plan, a new plan. Um, we're heading back south about an hour and a half to go to Aviemore, which is south of Inverness, because my dad and my brothers are going skiing in Aviemore tomorrow. And it didn't seem like that far away, so we thought maybe hedge your bets. We think the van's safe enough to drive. We're going to go south, get my dad to check it out, my brother, and they can tell us if we're daydreaming or if it's more serious and we have to get it looked at. And then if it's all good, we'll go north again. And if it's all bad, yeah, we go south. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. What a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't done much today, really, in terms of our, our North 500 master plan. But the van, when we were driving the van, it doesn't seem too bad. The, the problem seems to have kind of disappeared. Um, but we have just arrived in... Aviemore. Um, there is actually not too many places to like park around Aviemore. Everywhere you, it's either no overnight parking or you need to pay lots of money. Uh, but we found a really nice layby. Seems like a good spot. I think it's I think it's like like next to a river. You can, at least you can hear mm -hmm. the river when you're outside, which is nice. So nice, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's us finished for for the day. It's been really stressful. Tomorrow, after your family finish finishes. Um, skiing, skiing, then yeah, that would be so nice if they could have a look at the van. So, yeah, it's a pity we can't go skiing. <sighs> I know it's okay, we've got other problems to deal with <laughs> anyway. Yeah, fingers crossed the van is okay. See you tomorrow. So, a wee update. My dad has just had a look at the van. <clears throat> we took it for a wee drive, maybe just about half an hour, kind of north, to see if he noticed what we were describing as a wobble or a vibration. <clears throat> no sign of the wobble, which is what it's been like for the last couple of hours. He did agree that there is quite a bit of a vibration in the van. Um, his advice, though, was keep an eye on it. If it gets any worth, worse, we'll start heading south. Gonna risk it for a biscuit, if that makes sense. So super exciting. We are now heading north. Um, we really want to kind of continue this trip. So I think we're just kind of hoping everything's okay. Probably not the wisest idea, but anyway, that's what we're going to do. And yeah, maybe if anyone who watches these videos is mechanically minded, if they have any ideas what this kind of wobble or vibration might be. If you could drop a wee comment um, below and maybe we, you can help us kind of identify this problem, that be, we'd be very grateful for that. So uh, yeah, we are going north as soon as Rox is finished in the toilet. We are going that way. We're just thinking this is probably the most, van, uh, most north this van's actually been. Yeah, we never thought the steps could be this cold. 